It's the same old story and the same four chords. Elections are determined by big biz warlords. Ballot of the missing ballots. How many million votes are gone? Ballot of the missing ballots. But the revolution lives on. I believe in liberty. Whatever happened to democracy? Ballot of the missing ballots. I stand with Bernie Sanders because he's fighting for every single American. To invest in education, to preserve social security, to keep our water and air clean. Trump who wants to give hundreds of billions of dollars in tax breaks to the top two-tenths of one percent. Hell no! No way! They're not going to vote for a candidate who does not want to raise the starvation minimum wage of seven and a quarter an hour. No. And we are surely not going to vote for a candidate who does not believe that California has a drought. No! <laughs> is going to win because we are thinking big, not small. Because we have a vision of where this country can go. And we know that when we stand together, black and white and Latino, when we think about free public education, it's not good enough now just to be thinking about first grade through 12th grade. That was great 40 years ago. <laughs> Today, people need more education. Yeah. Yeah. Especially Republicans. Technology has changed the world. Well, here I am at the Registrar Voter Office here in uh, San Diego, and I voted just now on June 6th, 2016, in one of the most bizarre elections of all time. What's really bizarre is because I'm nonpartisan, uh, and I happen to live in an area that only has something like 250 registered voters or it doesn't have enough registered voters to have a polling place so I had to do this by mail 
And in order to do it by mail, you don't get to vote for president if you are nonpartisan, unless you come to this place, the uh, registrar voter place. Um, and trade in your mail-in ballot for a presidential ballot. That had I been just dumb about this and not checked into this, I probably would have been just as confused as everybody else and my vote wouldn't have counted. Well, the results are in and unfortunately Bernie lost the California primary by a landslide. Now, he could have won if AP hadn't called this. Who knows what could have happened. Uh, polls leading into the election showed Hillary up 49 to 47 uh, percent. Those were the final polls, the final Harris poll leading into the California primary in which Hillary won 55 to 43 percent but keep in mind the day before AP called Hillary the um, presumptive Democratic nominee based on their own secret poll with super delegates Hillary didn't win enough pledge delegates but when you combine her pledge delegates with her super delegates which are unelected then she does have enough so that's what the big argument is about. She has a total of 2,755 delegates when you combine the pledged delegates, the elected delegates, with the unelected superdelegates. Bernie only has, um, he only got 43% of the vote in California and 43% overall in all the primaries so it California kind of became a, a mirror image of the national picture it looks like uh, Bernie won 1,844 total delegates when you include super delegates he only won 47 super delegates Hillary got 571 super delegates which again are unelected don't ask me why they are part of this undemocratic process other than I, I understand the history of why that was put together to, to block out grassroots campaigns. So anyway, uh, Hillary won 33 states, Bernie won 23 states. Mm, Hillary's grand total of popular vote, based on what I'm looking at here, this came from Wikipedia, uh, 15 point eight eight nine million okay so in other words fifteen million eight hundred and eighty nine thousand six hundred and sixty versus Bernie's twelve million one hundred and eighty three thousand one hundred and thirty three it's interesting that um, when you subtract Bernie's total delegates which is 1844 from Hillary's total delegates which is 2755 you get 911 just a coincidence or conspiracy theory I I don't know that's just one little factoid it has no no, no that's no way to confirm a, a conspiracy <laughs> sorry um, what I do is gather facts first and then draw conclusions from the facts, not, not the other way around. I don't dream up a conspiracy theory and then search for facts. Okay, I know that some alternative media um, <laughs> jokers do that, but I don't do that. I start with the facts. So I just gave you the facts. From there, we have to see, you know, what kind of um, stories develop and um, where it all leads. So out of all that bizarre stuff in this election, probably the most bizarre thing that's happened is the missing millions of votes that didn't get counted. Uh, not a conspiracy theory, it's just the simple math if you just look at what uh, the media has reported. They're reporting that 
Hillary Clinton has won 1.9 million votes in California to Bernie Sanders 1.5 million. Any basic math type person who doesn't even freaking have a degree in anything can add up 1.9 and 1.5 quickly. That's um, 3.4 should be three and a half million votes counted so far and yet um, they're calling 33 percent voter turnout which is bizarre um, that's low um, and California has 17 over 17 million registered voters plus this year was supposed to be like like a record high number of registrations so it just doesn't add up. The numbers are just bizarre. Um, they can't hide from the bizarre numbers. Um, but it'll probably just go down in history as one of those mysteries that was never solved. And um, those of us who supported Bernie will kind of always know we got burned. But at least we did feel the burn.